welcome back, welcome back. We are on vacation. We got stretch here today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> please don't hit me again. Please, you please, do please, please don't hit me. <laughs> uh, we are on vacation. Um, I feel like we stayed in his room more than anything. <laughs> We sleep a lot, though, I swear. We slept till 5.30 the first day. It, was, it wasn't that bad this time. I feel like we got up a decent time. We got up pretty good today. For us. For us. <laughs> All right, so what you guys been asking for is question and answers. There's a video before that um, um, I asked you guys to ask us some questions. I think we are better prepared this time, mentally, oh. space-wise. <laughs> <laughs> you just snorted. <laughs> All right, so... So if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. If you don't know me, um, I have two children. My name is Lovely Mimi. You see me on a lot of platforms. Um, being in the spotlight or, you know, just being a person who all y'all be in my business and shit, it's a little bit difficult, you know, to introduce new guys that I date or whatever. Um, I do have a son with a separate father and then I was in a 10 year relationship and this is now my boyfriend of almost two years. His name is Stretch, most of y'all do know him but if you guys are new, then just to sum everything up. Mr. Stretch. Mr. Stretch is what we call him. <laughs> this is the tickler. <laughs> this is what we first introduced him as, the tickler. He's came a long way, all right? It's not easy to date somebody who's always making videos and their personal business is out there. Yeah, because I'm so low key. I'll be in the background. I don't really do social media. When y'all see me, it's basically because of her. I'm doing this. Cause talk this. louder, babe. We can't oh, hear you. Oh, now you talk loud. Whenever I tell you to talk up, you be whispering. <laughs> now you yelling. <laughs> you yell all the time, and now you don't want to yell. Come on, we need to hear you. There was a last they, video, so they were like, we can't hear y'all. You can't hear me? No, it was oh, that, the crab video. But then, look, but then, then if I'm, uh, I, I say it too hard, then, oh, he's so aggressive. It's okay. <laughs> we just need more volume. The, little, the last crab video, we couldn't really hear us. But it was we were, like, uh, this, we was in the restaurant, right? No, we were in the house. Oh, at the, the house? crab legs. Oh, oh. I can tell you, I was like, babe, speak louder. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so we're going to do some question and answer videos. All right, answer video. We're going to ask some questions that you guys ask us. All right, so I'll take a turn to answer. He'll take a turn or he can answer first. We'll see. All right, first question is, everybody want to know is, how did you guys meet? Oh, we met at the club. We met. I want to make yeah, love we were, in the club. Yeah, we was clubbing back in the day hard. Mm -hmm. 2009. But which one was? Was it Ibiza or? Of course it, it was. It was Ibiza. You were always at Ibiza. No, nah, but I was at Fur too. I and you was you was there. I, too. I was at Fur Fridays. So yeah, I was like I don't remember which one it was, but yeah, it was Ibiza. We're Ibiza old. was the spot back in the day. We're both on the DMV. Yeah. Just so y'all know, we now reside in California. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We go back to what was that? What was that? 2010. 2010. Yeah. Yeah. So we date. We we dated. We weren't in a relationship. We dated for about four months, I want to say. About four months. It was longer, but... No, men never remember time. You know, women remember time. <laughs> nah, she remember all negative stuff. <laughs> when, they, when when people be like, oh, you and Stretch were like this. She was like, hmm? <laughs> what are you talking about? I was like, damn, put some respect on my name, man. I know hey, I, I can't correct. <laughs> well, yeah, we were together for... Uh, say four months and you know we were just both dating um we were a lot younger i was a lot younger he was a lot younger that was 12 years ago you guys and um why did we break up um we wouldn't technically break up because we weren't together together but he wasn't toxic enough for me um he wasn't oh i thought she was about to say i was i was like ho 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 that's he never was... been my character <laughs> he wasn't toxic enough for me I wanted him, okay, so I am a type of always in relationship, so I, I I had my own house at like 18, and I just always didn't want to be alone, I wanted somebody to live with me, and he was taking things slow, moving slow, didn't really want to move in with me yet, I'm like, that's oh. what people do, how you just meet somebody, oh, look, 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 hey. It's been four months, you we, can come live with me. Sorry, we met last week, <laughs> we not engaged, that's not <laughs> That's how it was. I was like, man, we got, look, look, we could take it nice and slow, and we could do it like that. But she was, she was coming off like Debo style, like, man, you gonna move in with me or what? I was like, damn, I don't... <laughs> easy, me. 
well yes so things did so you know we we separated and um i think we saw each other twice um during that 12 years i think i saw him once at, at the club and then another time we was at texas roadhouse and um I saw she him. is with her man i was with my then ex so yeah. <laughs> it was so funny i was, I was like him and I haven't seen him in so long, so I purposely felt like I sat at the booth, like facing. <laughs> I was like, Why am I looking at you? <laughs> why am I? Why are we face to face right now? <laughs> well, we never said anything to each other. Um, how do we get back together? COVID. <laughs> COVID, COVID did it. <laughs> no, nah, see, it's just like just, just like how she uh said, I'm. I'm not toxic at all, so I knew that she was in that relationship all that time. And when when COVID happened, I just and mind you, I didn't, I never follow her on social media and nothing like that, so I really didn't know how things was going as far as that aspect. So when I got on her page, I you know I, I scrolled down a couple pictures or whatever. It's Twelve years later. Yeah, it, no, it wasn't. Oh no, yeah, no, ten yeah, years. Yeah, later. I was like, I was like, I was like, 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 <laughs> like, ten, like ten, ten and a half years yeah. later. So I'm scrolling down pictures. I don't see no pictures of her ex. So that's when I slid in her DM because I went down like, you know, far and I was like, didn't see him. So, you know, I hit her up to see what was good because I'm just not going to try to holler at you if you're in a relationship. That's not me. Yeah. So that's why, I, uh, you know, I hit her up to see if she was single. She said she was single. And that's basically how we kicked this thing back off. So what is so funny is like when I when we got back to when we got together again and somebody's oh dang old boy been in her phone it's Pizza Hut this whole time <laughs> no 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 nothing like that we literally haven't had any contact in the past ten years after that um, so after my breakup or whatever and I was dating somebody but it was going horrible it was just I was just miserable I've never been so sad in my life and I'm like Lord you know I only have one type you guys we know this. And I'm just like, please, send nobody my time. And it was a day, like, I felt like it was just, like, perfect time. It was perfect timing. I feel like if he would have DM'd me any other time, I probably would have replied or nothing would have gotten anywhere. But it was this day where I was, like, down on my last bottom where I was like, I'm tired of being in this, like, this is whoever after my ex of 10 years. And I was like, Lord, just send me somebody. And then he hit me. I was like, oh. He said, you remember me? I say. Like, yeah, who the fuck can forget hey, you? I, I was being nice by saying you remember me. I'm kind of hard to forget. <laughs> like. I'm like, I've been looking you for you. You remember me? <laughs> I'm like, I've been looking for you for a long time. Because honestly, I'm going to be honest, okay? I've always wanted to be with Stretch from the beginning. Like, when we were dating 10 years ago, I wanted to be with him. OG um, now. Okay? OG. So when people be like, oh, why are you dating people that look like your ex-husband? And I'm just like, I actually dated him before. And he used to call my ex the knockoff version of him. <laughs> and that was like a joke, like, like a long time ago. But um, I always wanted to be with him. I was like, as far as like the style, the tattoos, the eyes, the eyes for me. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to open it. Yeah, because, you know, they always shut. And but, that, people don't know until... But I, I've always wanted to be with him, but because, you know, he wasn't ready to move in with me and move fast, and I just moved forward. Um, but destiny or whatever, time brought us back together. And, um, you know, yeah, I don't really have a real job. <laughs> I don't really clock in, and, you know, he works hard. He has a real job, and we <laughs> I have moved back to Virginia, and um, I was renting, you know, because I didn't, really didn't. I left Atlanta, sold my home. I really didn't know where I wanted to go. And his lease was running up, my lease was running up, and he was like, what you want to do? And I'm like, shit, what you want to do? <laughs> He's like, I'm with the shits if you with the shits. Okay? <laughs> and I said, well, I don't got a job. I can move to California. And sure enough, we were dating a few months, and he was like, and he's just like, I'm older now. And I was, he was like, this is where he said to me. He's like, I'm older now. I'm a much better man than I was 10 years ago. And I was like, I would hope so. He said, I just felt like, you know, because we didn't end things back in the days, like off a of bad term. Like nobody really, you know, we didn't do nothing wrong to each other. We didn't have a bad breakup or whatever. So he just like, you know, I just felt like you were the one that got away, which, you know, I'm here now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so he's like, I'm not going to miss out on this opportunity. I'm older now. I'm ready for a relationship. And I'm like, I hate dating. He hate dating. And boom, I moved to California. 
I'm here, and we've been together going on two years now. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? 14. 14, that's young. Ugh, that does this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's almost Javon's age. I'm going to be 14 next that's year. That's why I said, I was like, man, look, any kid that they ask me, I got you. I, I'm not going to tell you no. When I got mine at a young age, I signed right off on it. No question. <laughs> this was my first one. Tasmanian this devil. was my second, uh, third, fourth. You see what it is. All right, don't be showing all that nipple. Oh. <laughs> like, no, no. It, was, it was above the nip. It was above the nip. Y'all gotta pay for this. <laughs> Uh, what's your most um well my first tattoo was 18 18 i had to wait my mom ain't signing off shit <laughs> asian mom tattoo you when you get tattoo you ruin your life your whole body no 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 so i actually had to wait until i was 18 to get my first tattoo and that's javon's name on my shoulder and it hurt so bad and i said i was going to get another one but next thing you know i have all these tattoos um what would uh which one hurt the most I can't say it was one. It's a it's a couple painful spots. Mm -hmm. So, huh. We go with the throat, right? Just not not the neck, the throat. Mm -hmm. And then the ribs are terrible. The inner thigh is bad. The kneecaps suck. Mm -hmm. Shin. Mm -hmm. Toes, foot. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> So those are like bad areas. Uh people ask about the uh like my my face and my underarms, which I feel like it tickles. Probably the easiest ones, to be honest. <laughs> I went to sleep on my underarms. My my tattoo artist recorded me, showed me once I woke up. I was like, oh, this is wild. And then like the face, literally all of them was easy except for this one, which I don't understand that because hurts? literally I had the same like on the other side, but just mm -hmm. this one like when they did it, like my eye was twitching a little bit. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh no. So, so their left side hurt more than right side. Yeah, but anything else was good. What I got, about right here? I got my ears. Like, I feel like this would hurt. No, nah, that was this is the my my ears and right here was like the first face tattoos that I had when I was uh, because I wanted to ease in the tattoo my face. So I did my ears and my sideburns first before I had anything right here. And then after that, I think I did I do my. I don't know. I started doing stuff around here. But. Still trying to figure who you miss. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. He has a lot of tattoos and you can't really pay attention, right? So sometimes like I memorize what's on his face and sometimes I don't. And one time we were laying down and I, I got on top of him and I started staring at his eyelids. I'm like, what the fuck does this say? And they're like, it said, miss you. I said, who the fuck you miss? <laughs> who you miss? Huh? Because what's it? Is me? <laughs> This is Miss You right here. Anyways, my most painful. Oh my god! My most fame painful. I would say my stomach. You know, I had my tummy tuck done, and I yeah. So this scar. Oh, painful, painful, painful. I keep my top down here. <laughs> <laughs> Connie gave me this outfit actually when we went to Vegas. She had brought me this outfit. Mm. I see why she gave it to me. It doesn't. I don't know. It's not really holding up. Um, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. What is your favorite TV show? Ridiculousness. Yes, he has that on all the time. Nothing to talk about. Ridiculousness. What is my favorite TV show? TV show? <laughs> what TV? <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch TV. <laughs> your favorite show that we watch together? Mm. The Challenge. Yeah. And I didn't even start watching Challenge until like 30 something. And it's something crazy because, season. no, no, yeah, I'm like, it's season, I mean, 30 something seasons in, and she only seemed like the last two or three. Yeah. I was like, I've been watching this for years. And I like, watch TV. This is my show. He watches TV. Oh, uh, yeah. If I'm in the house, oh, TV, that's that's what's up. I love, hey, what? Give me a J, a beer. My show's on. Oh, I hit that DVR because you know I work midday because when all the shows come on, I'm at work. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I hit that DVR. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot. This is actually one equates to the question from before. Do you think that if we would have stayed together 10 years ago, if we would still be together now? I mean, it's a 50-50 chance, but maybe not. I say no. I think um, 
I think it's perfect now because we had time to grow up, um, learn from you know our mistakes or from our previous relationship, and. You know, yeah, I don't you know, think we, I don't I still, think we like, You know, I'm still showing you what, you know, a positive relationship looks like because you was in a negative one for <laughs> so long that I got like, I got to get you from that dark side and bring you over to the light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man. Yeah, there's, I, I think, um, you know, I think the time that away or everything we went through, I think we would stay together. I think between our age gap and, um, and, and just life in general, I don't think we would have made it. I don't think we made it. I'm stubborn. You're stubborn. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of stuff that uh, we did in between there. Like, you moved to Atlanta those years. I've been out California all these years before you came. So, it's like, it was stuff that we did that we we needed to do mm -hmm. that in order to get to where we are now anyway. Yeah. So, I think, we're, you know, it's all in perfect timing. Okay. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? It's... it's so much it's all you know from the stuff that's near us if i uh if we talk about afters you know it's a uh, cereal milk mm -hmm. but then it's i go to different places and i get different ice cream i can't even just put it on one at uh i mean at cold stone i like uh sweet cream cake batter chocolate cake batter strawberry cake batter i like vanilla <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> I like anything plain and simple. Actually, I like that Santa milk and cookie one. That's good too. Yeah. Anything that's not too sweet, not too chocolate, not too, not too much of a bunch of stuff. But anywhere I go, that got some that's known for having good ice cream. Best believe, I'm making my way there. We in that? Well, we vacation somewhere in this there? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. What is it about ice cream that you love so much? It's delicious. <laughs> it's when I when I when I eat it just put a smile some fire ice cream not no not store bought we're not talking about briars uh, some homemade just good ice cream just when you you know when you taste something good and just I I honestly can't <laughs> I'm not an ice cream eater so I don't really I really can't taste the difference um, wow the disrespect <laughs> I don't you can't taste and the sometimes difference sometimes you be between. like cold I'm what? like I like it between like. Store store bride, like, and, no, really? Yeah. Oh, so much. I don't eat that much oh, of it. Oh man, I can't taste the difference of it. I just be like, oh, I see. So you, you, but you, ask me this. You mm -hmm. can taste the difference between like store bought cookies and like homemade cookies, stuff like that, right? Yeah, but store bought cupcakes. As far as like textures, as far as like cupcakes, I can only eat it if it has whipped icing. And then sometimes like Georgetown cupcake and people slice it. And I'm like. I don't, I don't really think it's all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like from fucking straighter where it has whipped Bruh. icing or shoppers where it has whipped icing. Like, no. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't see. I'm not a sweet eater. As Man. long as it's a light, I can eat it. There's no difference for me. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Yeah. But that, that that's like me with hot sauce and like meat. <laughs> I can see. I can tell what different grade of meat. Mm, delicious. Always like. So you know, I came out here in Puerto Rico, <laughs> and um, so we went to Taco Bell. Okay, don't judge us for eating chicken tenders and Taco Bell since we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't have Diablo sauce. This is a hot sauce. So I had to go, and you know, Puerto Ricans don't really eat um, spicy. Puerto Ricans don't really eat spicy, right? So it's like I keep forgetting that, and so I had to run to their grocery store. Y'all, they barely had any hot sauces in their grocery store. So I bought some crushed red peppers, and I found some. Habanero sauce and Goya, but it wasn't that spicy. But it's like, I'm so addicted to hot sauce. All right. Uh, mm, excuse me. All right. Um, what is your favorite place that we have traveled to? I mean, I got Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Yeah. What do you like about here? I like the resort here, too. I like the resort. I like your tour. Are you talking when we went down the the, the bottom part? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love how the bottom part is set up. It's like okay. it's set up like a man. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's set up like a man cave at the bottom of the hotel. And the whole pool beach set up. Even at night, I could be on the beach with my little shorts on, tank top, and it's cool because it's still mm -hmm. warm at night. But the places you know where we go the most. But this is now. This is getting up there because we've been yeah. here twice. But yeah. I've been we, here a while. Yeah. Well, y'all know I don't have my I don't have my passport. I don't have my citizenship, 
so I don't have a passport, so I can't really go anywhere but um, like U.S. territory. And I like Puerto Rico. We went to St. Thomas. Kind of, we didn't like. I didn't like St. Uh, Thomas. I didn't like it the first time. I didn't like it the second time. Just the hills, like where you live. It's, the resorts are oh. on these mountains, and they drive on the opposite side of the road, and they drive crazy as hell. And there's really nowhere to go. Like you're just stuck on the resort. Where in Puerto Rico, we can walk and go places. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is way better. Um, all right, where is a place you would like to go? Say if I I get my passport, I get my everything. Where would you want to go? I mean, the places that's still that's on my list because I don't I'm not into traveling too much because I hate flying. Let's put that out there. It's a, it's a struggle for me every time. Yeah, you should be good at it now. But Amsterdam, Hawaii, Jamaica. Hmm, sounds good. We were supposed to go to Hawaii this <laughs> summer, but they had like boosters, vaccine, that, and then as soon as we decided to go to Florida, I don't know, whatever. But Hawaii is a little bit expensive to go to anyways, but I definitely want to go to Jamaica. Um, Amsterdam, because you want to go there to smoke. Okay, fine. It'll be on my list. I've, it's always going to be on my list, but I definitely want to do a Southeast Asian tour. You might ask. Well, they, they're, they're more... Um, not they like, have restaurants now. They have like, like Asian a, restaurants. Isn't that like a day flight? It's 24 hours. See, yeah. But see, so is Amsterdam. It is? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take Amsterdam off the list then. That's so no. far. Oh, so you're not going to go? Man, I can't. We're be, going. Oh, my God. We're going. They, ha so they have long. KFC, McDonald's and stuff now. So it's, you're not going to be stuck flight. eating this No, no, food. it's the flight. I'm pretty sure I'll find some food. It's the flight that I'm struggling with. But the flights, they have like beds on the airplane. Like it leans back there. It's like, you'll be fine. It goes by. You know I cramp up easily. Yeah, well, there it's not little seats, you know, it's oh, like man, beds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your favorite thing about each other? Well, no matter what time I get off work, she makes sure she has dinner just waiting for me. <laughs> I don't wait as soon as I come in the door. Dinner is ready for me. 10.50. Don't judge me. It's but, simple. No, 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 no. I'm not finished. Okay. <laughs> when we go to sleep at night, she holds me tight. <laughs> no. That's a thinky baby. I think that's a chicken. No. 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 That's a thinky baby. <laughs> she holds me tight. Um, that's cute. Um, but. In his defense, his food is very easy to make. <laughs> it's not that simple. Simple. It's simple. So I have timed it, you know, until when he get home and then he eats. Um, so I've timed that. You know, I know what what takes, how long takes stuff takes. So it's still hot as soon as you walk through the door. And she does take well. I don't. I mean, I mean, when I do get sick, she does take care of me. It's it's, it's a bad look. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm no good when I'm sick. <laughs> just thinking about it. The just drama. Bring, just thinking about it brings me down because it's, everything shuts down, but she's there for me. Mm. Nurturer. Gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Gay. Um, my favorite thing about Stretch, I would say, is he wants to participate in things with me like even there's things that he don't want to do deep down he do want to do it and he wants to be a part of it so it's like I, I do enjoy that like he wants to you know he wants to be with me if I go here even though if he don't want to go he's he doesn't like it or something he still wants to go <laughs> <laughs> he said I know I don't eat it but I will still go with you I will still sit there <laughs> and you know watch you eat so I like that he wants to participate with me and the children and just the whole family setting about wanting to be with each other. Um, I really do like that. So that is my favorite thing about him. And uh, my favorite other thing is sexiness. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> All right. Um, do you guys want more kids? Do you guys want kids? Yeah. We do. I have two, and uh, I think it's only fair we have one together. I'm, I'm not really done anyways. I have always said I want to, like, four kids. I have two. We agree on one, so maybe we'll have four, but we'll have one. In how long? You tell me how long. 
I guess within two years of this message. <laughs> two years of this message. Mm -hmm. So that gives me a year to get off of birth control and a whole nother year to try to have kids. Um, only because, you know, he's getting so old. What? I have to. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Hold up. You I'm look young. You look but great. I'm a man. Oh, you're right. I, I, I can do mine whenever. You're right. There are like 60-something-year-old men. Now you're here. getting up there. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> I still got hurry four years. Up. <laughs> These eggs oh, got four, four, four. Why do you act like your birthday not next month? Three years. Are you really cl trying to claim 31 still? Yeah. 31 and 11 months. All right, that's what we're doing. Hey, my, mother had <laughs> Eastern. my mother had me at 47, so we're still good, okay? If I just don't want a kid come out like me. You know, that's a little iffy. Um, what about marriage? Will y'all get married? What do you think about that? I don't mind. Uh, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Okay, so for me, as far as marriage, I have been through um, a fake ass marriage. I want to say like we all, we were all there for it. We thought I was married, and thank God I wasn't married. I am skeptical about that. You know, the whole process of breaking up. So I, but I do really do believe in love. I do believe in a happy relationship and marriage. So I would totally give it another shot. Um, so, and then I found out some other things that. You don't have to. I think it's just finding the right person. I think understanding the meaning of marriage and just having that, you know, chemistry is important. So I wouldn't mind. I really do want a ring, though. Why wouldn't um, you want to marry me? I mean, come on. <laughs> I want a big, fat ring. And, you know, I always say it to him, or right? I always like, um, oh, I need a ring before I have a baby. And, you know, my friends said it, too, and they are like, you didn't need a ring for the other two babies. I was like, look. And he said the same. He's like, you had a ring sarcastically. Okay? But I'm like, damn, can I have... As a joke. As a joke. Don't, don't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> so, for me, I'm like, dang, can a, can a bitch, like, you know, put some, lay some ground rules down that I want a ring? I mean, shit. But I, I totally want, um, I think we would have a small wedding if we have a wedding. Uh, he doesn't uh, like people so much. And... <laughs> Are we? Is that a question, or can we just go into that? You can go into having. How would you like your wedding? Look, I mean, you know, me personally, I just rather have more of a honeymoon than a wedding. I'd rather our honeymoon be something stupid where we go somewhere for like a month. A month. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. You know, you know the things that I showed you where they had like the 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 room. And it's water underneath. Mm -hmm. And it's like you got the little Keep walkway. Up. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Something like that. No, 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 no. It don't have to be. It could be there for a week. We could go to four places. This place a week. This place a week. It's our honeymoon. Uh -huh. We celebrated how we want to do it. So I was like, yeah. Oh, we got to go across the country. All that, uh, yeah, uh, wedding stuff where it's like 500 people and doing all that. Uh, the, the, all the food and the flowers. It just, it, planning, it stresses me out. <laughs> I just want her to have her dress where she looking bad as fuck. <laughs> I'm suited and booted and we do it like that. I think for me, <laughs> I really don't care much for a wedding, but I want wedding photos. Like, I want some bomb photos. Like, you know how, like, oh, I don't know if they're in Greece or they're in somewhere, Peru or something, and they're standing on top of the houses and the dress is, like, flowy and all those fo different photo shoots. I'm here for the photo shoots. I don't even care if we have a quick Vegas wedding or something like that. Uh, I'm down for a Vegas wedding. I just want a bunch of really, really nice photos and memory books. And, you know, of course, like the kids and just, you know, that's it. But not a whole bunch of different people. Because now I think about, there's so many people in and out of my life that, like, dang, <laughs> I forgot I knew that person. <laughs> We're not even where our family is. And who, was we, was we going to fly them out? <laughs> They're supposed to fly themselves out when we have a wedding. Oh, cause <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, see, nope, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's, right. hun that's honeymoon money. Yeah. That's honeymoon money. Uh, uh. This take us to the question is like, <laughs> all right, do you guys have siblings? I have, believe it or not, I have five sisters and one brother. I am the youngest. I'm the youngest. 
and I'm not that close to my my siblings. One is in Turkey. I haven't talked to her in ages. I have one that's a biochemist. Uh, me and her text here and there. She actually raised me, so she's more like my mom. I have one in Vietnam. I met her one time. I have one in Boston. She haven't talked to me since my dad's funeral. And she acted like she didn't even know who I was. So I'm not very that close to my siblings. Um, I'm close to my sister-in-law who runs a shop in uh, Maryland. And my brother who she's married to. And we fight all the time. So, you know, I have family. I have siblings. But we're completely different. I'm the black sheep of the family. And I, I rarely get to see them. And when I'm the youngest and spoiled. What are you? I mean, my mother got some other kids. <laughs> you are also the baby. Like me? Yeah, she tried to baby me too. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> you gotta stop, ma. <laughs> Look here, <laughs> cut that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, my mother, that's my heart. That's my baby. It's the but, baby. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really close with her uh, other kids. We, we never been that close. So. Yep, we have our own family now. Yeah. All right, which I think is so cute. Which I hope Juice and Jay are not going to be like me and my siblings. I hope oh, that hell they're no. going to be close. I want kids that are always together, playing together, grow up together, love each other, and all that. Not nah. All right. Speaking of Juice and Jay, how do you feel about being a stepdad to two kids that aren't yours or in a relationship? I can't stand them. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, Juice and Jay, they, uh, You weren't prepared for this, yeah, right? Your last I, relationship? Man, I, that's, that's why I was like, every every relationship that I ever done, it, it, it comes with, like, kids. Mm -hmm. And the last one I was in, it was a boy girl about the same age. Mm -hmm. So, so he's like, been preparing for this relationship. He already had <laughs> two stepkids in his previous relationship where they weren't his, so yeah. he's been preparing to come take care of my kids. I was in that one for, what, four or five years? Mm -hmm. So I'm used to this, but no, they're they're great. Yeah, I'm, they, 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 yeah, they love me, I love them, and it's, it's good. Yeah, they're not bad. Those are my little, my little motherfuckers, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, y'all don't, like, y'all y'all see a little bit of my personality. They see the most of it because, yeah, they my family, so they see more than what y'all see. Mm -hmm. And they accept me for who I am, and I accept them. Yeah. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I think he's pretty close to the kids. Um, as far as like with Juice, you know, having Juice bottle because Juice is, you know, she's still only eight, so she still eats with us, hang out with us, watch movie with us, be in our room. Javon, he's always on the, he's always on his game. He's always on the game. Look, I'll be throwing. I'm like, man, look here, man. You gonna come do some family stuff with us? <laughs> I will take the game from you, and it'll just be in my car, and it'll go wherever me and my car go. You won't get the game. This gonna this gonna be some family time. Yeah. Like you got to the point where, like, yeah, at first I had to. Uh, at the time, I was like, look, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what what, what you, you 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 gonna hug me when you see me. <laughs> you gonna come give me a hug, and that's what it is. And I mean, I only had to tell him when he see me, like, oh man, what's up, Mrs. Jackson? You know, uh -huh. hugging, <laughs> and you know, juice shit. I get off work if if it's like the weekend and she could be up or any day I come in the house. She will run to the door and she be like, mm -mm, "I'm first. Mm -hmm. She gonna make sure she hug Mr. Stretch first before anyone. Who it don't matter what's after me. Just know I'm first. <laughs> Whoever second, third, whatever. But Juice is first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, I, I like I like the relationship. You know, it's not too much pressure. It's not. You know, I don't expect him to step in or be all this mean. It's just like. Just go with the flow, go with the vibe, get along, you know, and just spend time. So mostly Sundays, we make sure that at least Sunday we have family time. We're going to do something, whether we're going to eat, watch movies, but you going know, kids gonna get off the game. They're gonna spend time with us, so that's a very important part in our relationship. All right, next, <clears throat> what it is the strangest thing you have seen me do? What? What is the strangest thing? Nobody had time to answer all that. Every day, <laughs> when I wake up and the alarm goes off, just everything. <laughs> oh, it's, it's my my brain is just like going crazy, just trying to name some things. Like, what's the what's the strangest? <laughs> Y'all follow her. Y'all see what she does. <laughs> 
<laughs> coming home to Kevin? How was that? How do you feel about she coming home to, to Kevin? Bruh. <laughs> if y'all don't know, know who Kevin to, is, she, she's she trying to kiss me ego. with the Kevin mustache showing up. Like, that's dead. <laughs> That's dead. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> He's so loud. Kevin is so loud. If y'all don't know who Kevin is, uh, Kevin is my alter ego. I play as a man. And sometimes I used to be born alive waiting for him to come home and work. And then next thing you know, I fall on my mouth. I had like, I had mustache. <laughs> and he has this laugh. <laughs> uh, so that's Kevin. Um, the strangest thing stretched up. It's the ice cream for me. It's excessive. Um... <laughs> Why? Uh, it's strange. Like, dude, he doesn't just eat. <laughs> like, y'all don't understand. It's like, he don't just eat one, right? I watch him from the time, like, from the time he came home after he eats dinner, the amount of fucking ice cream from popsicles. Oh. I want to say, like, seven. That'd be five. Per no, uh -uh. no, 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 no. Was you looking at it or was I watching it by myself where they showed that lady, that lady on TV? I showed it to you last night. You it showed it? 40 popsicles Bruh, a day. Bruh, yes. Oh, you, I was like, 40, was it on TV? She ate 40 popsicles a day. So my little four ain't nothing. It's still four is nothing. nothing. It's if you talking about somebody eating 40, she was talking about she was like cracking a thou a month. Yeah. She was, what? Was it, was it 10,000 a year? Yeah, like over, it, I think it was, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh, stupid. Yeah. Mm -mm. You know, I eat well, popsicles. Hey, look, I couldn't even, I couldn't really judge her though. I was like, I ain't mad you're like, at it. You're right there. I ain't mad <laughs> at it. Hey, do your thing. <laughs> I don't want to overeat it to the point where I don't like it no more because ice cream is, oh, it's just, it's life. If I was cream. lactose, it wouldn't even matter. I just, whoever else is around me just got to deal with that. I'm going to throw this ice cream back. And whatever happens with whatever gas and whatever happens, it's, hey, I don't care. That's your problem or whoever else's problem. This ice cream won't get devoured. <laughs> Yo, you love ice cream. I, I find it strange. It's like, only because I don't eat ice cream. But I know I do strange things too, so I can't judge. I just let him eat his fucking ice cream in peace. Um, because it's like I have to bribe him sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll get you ice cream if you do this. <laughs> well, speaking of ice cream, we're going to go get some ice cream. We're going to go out to dinner. Uh, maybe a little hookah bar. Some friends are coming. My cousin and her husband and... Two other couples is coming tomorrow, and we're going to an Afro Fest um, this weekend. So we're gonna get out of this room. But good job, high five, baby! You did it, yeah! Oh. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys go support us on Instagram. It's lovely Mimi twenty seven. It's the same thing for TikTok. Stretch doesn't have social media, so that's a good thing, right? Because I'm like, y'all probably like, oh. When people be like, oh, he's with you for clout, I'm like, when have you ever seen me, <laughs> when have you ever seen me tag him in anything? He doesn't even have a page for me to tag. So, you know, I'm happy in my relationship. Um, yeah, this, I feel like this is the happiest I've been. Like, my skin is so clear, you guys. Like, my skin is flawless. I got makeup on right now, but I even want to take makeup on. I have no pimple. My hair is so healthy and long. My neck is off. long. And this, this, this is just me, because I don't never have makeup. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy. I feel like this is the happiest that I've been. And I think as far as us, like, of course, we didn't have a perfect relationship from the beginning to end. It was a little roughy start because I was still learning a lot of things. But, nah. <laughs> um, but I feel like this is the happiest we've been as a couple for the past year and a half. So... Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Make sure you go check out all our old videos. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all next time for an ice cream challenge, maybe. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.